Hey guys, well, Apple just unearthed something rather interesting about AI that we haven't really known before until now. Apparently, AI models are still far away from actually reasoning. Now, we have reasoning AI models like uh, OpenAI's 04 and 03 Mini uh, and Google Gemini 2.5 Pro and stuff like that. We have these AI models that can reason, that can think through things. But apparently, Apple, at least according to them and their researchers, we are far from like an actual level of reasoning, like AGI. We are really far away from that, according to Apple, which is interesting. So we're going to go ahead and cover it in today's video. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and read this article by Cointelegraph. AI models are still far from AGI levels of reasoning, apparently, according to Apple's researchers. So current thinking AI models, well, thinking in quotes, uh, still can't reason to a level that would be expected from a human, the researchers at Apple have found. So um, there is... Um, the AI race is nowhere near over, and this article does point that out. The race to develop AGI has still a long way to run, and according to Apple's researchers, um, even the, la the leading AI models, the biggest ones out there right now that are still like the cream of the crop, are having trouble actually reasoning. They can't reason to a human level, still. So recent updates to leading large language models, oop, I, I clicked something, uh, leading updates to leading um, large language models such as OpenAI's ChatGPT and Anthropic's Claude have introduced large reasoning models, LRM, but LRMs, um, but their fundamental capabilities, scaling properties, and limitations remain insufficiently understood, said the Apple researchers in a June paper called, quote, The Illusion of Thinking, which is an amazing name to title it. Um, and basically, they noted that the current evo evaluations primarily focus on the established mathematical encoding benchmarks, emphasizing final answer accuracy. However, this evaluation does not provide insights into the reasoning capabilities of the AI models. So basically, they, made, they did some research and um, devised types of puzzles to test thinking and non-thinking variants of various chatbots beyond the standard mathematical benchmarks and the coding benchmarks and whatnot. And they discovered that these large reasoning models face a complete accuracy collapse beyond certain complexities and don't generalize reasoning effectively. And basically, um, if you start giving it more complex um, puzzles and more complex things to figure out that are not necessarily um, the standard mathematics or coding, it can't reason these out. And I think part of the reason is is um, logic is different from uh, knowledge um, and how large language models work is they're very knowledge based. They aren't... Th they, how large language models work is they take a guess at what the next word would be. You give it like a, a prompt. You ask like, hey, can you do X, Y, Z? Can you tell me what ABC does, right? And it will try to guess, based off of your input, what to say. It will go and be like, hmm, what would be the first word I'd put in here, and then the next word, and then do I use punctuation? It guesses at things. The way reasoning models work is they basically generate, they do this weird trick where they generate this extra prompt that tries to work through things. Um, so... Before it gives the user a final answer, it generates a precursor prompt that kind of acts like a human, like, talking to themselves um, in a way where it's like, hmm, okay, so I'm faced with XYZ problem. How would I figure out XYZ? Well, I would have to do ABC. It, it kind of thinks through things. But a lot of how AI knows things is by... Um, having a large data set of words and guessing at what to say. That doesn't necessarily equate to logic, though. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that if you put, like, if you gave an AI a puzzle, it would necessarily be able to solve it, and that's what Apple's researchers have found out. It sucks at certain things, including puzzles. It sucks at them. Um, and apparently, for somewhat, uh, for, for a certain degree, um, they're actually overthinking. So they found inconsistent and shallow reasoning with the models and also observed overthinking with AI chatbots generating correct answers early 
and then wandering into incorrect reasoning. So they got the answer, but they kept thinking so much that they lost the answer and came up with something that doesn't work. So, all things considered, these models aren't actually as good as we think they are. Which, um, that's interesting. Um, I guess it makes sense if you think about how large language models at the actual core work. I guess it makes sense. Um, it's not necessarily the most surprising thing in the world, but um, it's a little disappointing. Um, I guess it makes sense though. Again, we're not fully there with like AGI. Um, we, we won't be for quite some time, even though all of the big AI companies want to say we're closer to building AGI than ever before. Uh, uh. See, the only thing is, is with large language models, as much as they may be smart, they still have a lot of things that they need work on. And one of those things is just handling basic, is just handling logic in certain areas. And Apple has pointed that out pretty clearly is we, we, it does need a lot of work before we can get to something that is human-like, uh, like fully human-like. So, eh, there's, there's a lot of work that needs to be done here. But it is an interesting thing that they pointed out, and I'm kind of curious to see what's going to come of it. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't say this is like a wake-up call to the AI companies that they need to improve, because, well, that... That wouldn't make any sense. The AI companies, well, they know they need to improve. They, this isn't like the final iteration of AI. They're not handing this out and saying like, look, it's perfect. It can't get any better than this. Like, no, it's going to get better than this. It's an, it's a race. It's like the space race. It's like any other race to get some kind of technological innovation. As, uh, as with anything, it's always going to continuously improve until we've hit the jackpot. We haven't hit the jackpot yet. So, I, it's not necessarily surprising, but it is an interesting thing to point out. Now, does it affect you? Uh, maybe not necessarily. Um, if you're using AI for certain issues, like um, more mathematical or like programming-based, you'll probably be fine. The key reason I say this is because that's a majority of what AI is trained on. It's trained on, you know, mathematics and programming and stuff like that. So um, if you're asking it questions within that vicinity, um, you'll, you will most likely be okay. It's not like, it's probably not gonna screw up. But if you're giving it really, really, really complex questions, um, especially ones that don't fall in the realm of mathematics or programming or anything that wouldn't be so much in written literature, then you might encounter some stumbles along the way, and um, Apple has pointed such out. Um, but overall, you'll probably be fine. Um, it's just Apple pointing out that the quality of answers isn't um, as to be expected. It, the quality of answers will kind of wait wavered just a little bit and do, they don't they're not always perfect and it still has a long way to go but AI now is way better than it was a couple years ago and it's still pretty good at what it does so I wouldn't take this as a dissuasion of don't use AI it's not perfect yet it's still pretty good it has a long way to go and Apple's pointing that out but it still works well for a lot of things so yeah, I don't know it was just interesting to see so that's kind of about it for today's video. I know Apple is going to be doing WWDC tomorrow, at least tomorrow as of recording this video. Um, it'll be today by the time it releases. So I will be making a video covering all the stuff that they announced and all the things they dropped afterwards. I'm really curious to see if they're going to release, um, like, they're going to do that weird release thing. I know there's a lot of people talking about this, and I talked about it in a previous video, that Apple is planning on changing their release cycle. So instead of like iOS 19, it would be iOS 26. They're going to change the release cycle um, to match the year it's being released, as opposed to like this arbitrary number um, to try to match the version on all their operating systems, which is a an interesting move. Um, I don't necessarily blame them for doing it, but it's definitely going to be uh, a bit interesting to see. 
Um, and there's also a lot of other like um, speculation as to um, the user interface on iOS changing and a lot of other stuff. So I'm just overall curious to see what's going to end up happening. So I'll make a video doing a whole overview uh, after everything happens, the day after WWDC. That is about it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Take care, you guys, and remember to stay safe out there.